Welcome to the Apex Tutorial 5 Checkboxes Part 1 Video Training Exercise brought to you by MS Consulting. This is Part 1, focuses on the base application, form editing, and display changes. On the screen is a list of assumptions and requirements for this tutorial, as well as the location of a full in depth informational article that accompanies this tutorial video. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do, as always, is we need to log in to Apex. Again, making sure you have an account that's at least developer level access. And we're going to start off by going to Application Builder. We're going to go Create. We're going to create an application. And we're going to give it a name of Checkboxes. and the application number and everything else is okay. We're going to add a blank page. Actually, I'm sorry, we're going to add a report and form page. When we do this, we have to specify the table we're going to drive it off of. In this case, it's going to be driven off the OEHR product information table. And its implementation is going to be classic. You're going to click Add Page and you'll notice that this will actually create two pages and we need to change the names of them. So we're going to click the top one and this large window will pop up and we highlight the name and rename it to be product report and click apply changes and then we're going to click the item for page two and the same large window will pop up and we're going to select its page name and change it to be update form and we'll click apply changes and now our two pages are renamed and we click next we only need one level of tabs and no shared components the attributes are all fine as they are with the defaults and for user interface we're going to select theme 2 and click next and it'll ask us to confirm our choices and then click create and now that we got it created we're ready to go so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the application real quick I'm going to log in and this will show us our base application which shows us all the products that are in the system you'll notice on the left of each of them is an edit icon which we can then click which launches us to the update form which is where we can actually update any of the product information and as long as we're here on update form this is where we're going to start editing so we'll hit edit page two and then we're going to come down here to items and we're going to select warranty period since we actually want to hide this from display so we're going to change its display type to be hidden and then we'll click apply changes and there we go and now we are going to go back down to items here and we're going to add a new item in this case we are going to add a radio group so radio group go next it'll ask us to give it an item name in this case we're going to name it uh, set min price and its sequence is going to be 9.5 the point five will come up in a moment its region is going to be region 1 update form then we click next its item attributes we're going to put in what we need here there is no null option I'm going to paste in the list of values anything that's pasted in during this tutorial is available in the full information article for, e for easier use click next and that's okay the item attributes just going to rename the label to say set minimum price and click next and 
and the source is OK. So we can go ahead and oh, forgot that. Got to paste in our item source, or this won't work right. Once it's pasted in, we can hit Create Item, and that will create that item. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we have to create a process that will work against what we just created. So we're going to create a PLSQL process. And click Next. I'm going to give it a name of update min price and its sequence and everything else are OK. And then we're going to paste in the actual process click next then we're going to set a success message and we'll set a failure message and once we get those in we'll click next and what we're going to do is we're going to set a condition on this and the condition is going to be value of item in expression 1 equals expression 2 and we're going to make expression 1 I'm going to paste that in here P2 set price and then expression 2 is going to be Y and then we can go ahead and say create process and now the process is created now we need to only a few more changes and this will be set to go we're going to run our page first here make sure it's working and we'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see why we use the 0.5 on the set minimum price it puts the two radio buttons in the middle of the title we'll go back to our edit page screen and we'll scroll down here to items and we'll go to set minimum price and what we're going to do is we're going to change its, dis change its display to a checkbox and then we're going to come down here and we're going to remove its label and then we're going to come down here some more to default value we're going to put N and then under the list of values we're going to put a new list of values in here which is available again at the full, in, at the full article and then once we get that set, I'm going to scroll back up to apply changes and make sure we apply our changes and we're going to click our run so we can run the page and you'll see now that the set minimum price has been changed to a checkbox along with a little informational display as to what it actually does. We're going to go to the application home right there because we need to switch over to the product report and we're going to change some display values on this. Once it comes up, we're going to click in Regions. We're going to click the report. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to hide a couple items by deselecting the Show checkbox for Wait Class, Warranty Period, and Supplier ID. and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna edit the uh, list price I'm gonna click the icon to the left of it and we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna change its formatting so that it actually shows us a monetary value and what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll back up and we're going to hit the button that has the caret mark pointing to the right we're not gonna hit apply changes yet going to hit this button right here. What that will do is that will cycle us one column forward to the minimum price column and we're going to go down and make the same format change there so that it will display monetary values and then once that's set we can now go up and we can hit apply changes and we'll hit run so we can check to make sure that they took and they did. Our list price now shows as monetary values and the columns we wanted hidden are now hidden. And from this we'll go back to our edit page and get ready for the next part.